In our last lesson, we learned about octodomes, and so today we're going to apply that knowledge as we go out on location shooting for King Pong. We're out in Malibu today shooting promotional materials of Sui Balkan. He's a national Chinese champion ping pong player. We're going to shoot stills and video for a television show called King Pong. We've shot for King Pong over the last couple of months and it's really been an interesting assignment. The first thing I need to resolve when I arrive on location is where is the sun and where is it going to be in relationship to my subject. I know using my iPhone app, Sunseeker, that it's going to go down in the west behind some mountains that we have just to the right of the beach we're shooting at. We're going to use that as kind of a foundation of how we set up the shot. We want to be looking out at the ocean with the ping pong table and the player in the foreground. This only gives us two options. We can shoot northeast and we can see the sun as a key light. That's really a position I don't care very much for. I really much would rather have the sun behind the subject as a rim light. So if we choose to shoot more in the southwest direction, we'll have the sun as a rim light on our talon. Here's our first image. You can see that the sun is acting as a rim light on our talon, but we're going to really need to open up his face. For our first setup, we're going to use a small octodome with a grid as our key light. I chose this small octodome because it gives us a very hard light, much like the sunlight we see in the image. Plus we get that really nice round catch light in his eyes. Our talent's going to be jumping for a lot of these shots. So we're going to take our Dynalite 1600 watt second Roadmax power pack and dial it down one stop. This gives us a very fast flash duration which will help stop the action as our talent jumps. This is our Dynalite strobe with a small octodome. As we learned in our previous lesson on octodomes, the small octodome gives us a harder light with more distinct shadows. I chose it today because it looks more like the sunlight. With this in mind, I chose to shoot at f14 at 250th of a second. My ISO is set at 320. We can now shoot at different locations on the beach with this very same setup as long as we position ourselves to the moving sun. We next wrestled this ping pong table out into the ocean where we kind of tried to stabilize it. It's now time to shoot our video. As we move to video, we're going to use a 1000 watt ICANN LED light as our key light. This is going to replace the octodome. We want to shoot him spiking the ping pong ball at the camera with the Kessler crane. Our strobes have been standing by. As I'm going to go back and do a few more jumping shots because the sun's getting a little lower, a little nicer, and I think it'll look more interesting. It's a little tricky to get your power packs this close to the ocean, but we were able to hand hold them so that they stayed out of the water and get that octodome with a grid on it close enough to get a nice light on his face. I'm really pleased with these images. This is going to become the hero shot for me. You know, the light's almost gone and our shot is almost over, so it's time for us to light the table on fire. This is all the ambient light that's really left at this point. We added the octodome up front on his face, gave us a nice light on his face, but then added a bare head on the table in the background. It looks a little overlit on the ground, on the sand, but when we light this on fire, it's going to feel like the glow from the table and it'll all make sense. To create our fire, we're going to pour a liquid called Bestine on the top of the table. The reason we use Bestine is because it doesn't flash like gasoline when you light it up with a match. I mean, don't get me wrong, it lights up, but it just doesn't flash. In Nick's software's Vivesa 2, I took the image and made some adjustments to it. First I brightened it slightly, added some contrast and structure, pulled out some warmth and red from the overall image, but then I added a control point to his face to lighten his face, give it a little brightness, then I added a control point over the fire and warmed that area so you get that warm glow both on the sand and on the fire itself. It was great to be out on location where we could apply the science of octodomes to a practical situation. I always learn when I'm out in these situations. I learn a lot about talent. I learn a lot about lighting. It's just been a great experience today. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking.
We just got our new Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter lens. This is a great lens. It's a super performance, which means they're high-end professional lens series. Really a great lens. We took it out immediately. We tested it against the Canon lenses to see exactly how sharp it is. It's as sharper, sharper than anything I used with the same 24 to 